Today's topic is how to do a fish in cycle. All right, now I know that this topic can be a little bit tricky. For some people, especially the old schoolers, guys from back in the day, uh, people have done things a traditional way, and as time has gone by, and technology and new products have, have gone by, there are different, newer ways to do things. So I'm gonna tell you guys today, I'm about to change the game. It's gonna be epic, okay? So traditionally, when you cycle your tank, you used to just set up your tank, fill it with water, put all your decor in there, and let it sit there for a couple of weeks, staring at it, and wait for it to cycle, if you were that patient. If you weren't that patient, what some people would do is add what they call a dither fish into the tank, basically a fish that's going to be sacrificed um, in order to create ammonia in your tank. With that fish creating that ammonia, that's how your cycle begins to start. Because if you don't know already, ammonia is the food source for your beneficial bacteria. So we need some kind of source of ammonia in our tank to get the cycle going. Now, when people have done in the past fishless cycles, what they could do is add a little bit of food into the tank. That's called ghost feeding. That little bit of food will eventually deteriorate. Uh, you'll get the um, heterotrophic bacteria that will grow and, and eat that organic matter and then turn that into ammonia. Now you got ammonia in your tank, then your autotrophic bacteria will grow and begin to start the cycle. But what you want is for your beneficial bacteria to begin growing, you need to have ammonia in the tank. If you went the, the little more brutal way, some people feel that this is kind of torture for the fish when you add a fish into an uncycled tank, that fish is getting exposed to ammonia, right? So it is getting some bad stuff. It's not good for that fish. So, but some people feel like this is the best way to introduce ammonia. Another way would be, but besides using the fish, would be adding some ammonia in a bottle directly. You can just add ammonia right into the tank to get the cycle started. Now, those are the old traditional ways. Both of those ways take, take time. They take a while to get the tank cycled. So there are new ways. And I'm going to show you exactly the ways that there are now to benefit you to get your fish inside your tank right away on day one, get your tank up and going right away. Because we all know, we go to the store, we see that beautiful tank, we buy all the stuff, and we want the fish in there right away, right? Who wants to wait two, three weeks until we can finally put fish in the tank? I don't think anybody wants to do that. So what we're going to use, guys, is a wonderful product called Seachem Prime. What this does is more than just a dechlorinator, which I hope we all know by now that we all have to dechlorinate our water, no matter what the source is, even if it's well water and you're absolutely sure that there's no chlorine in it, you never know what else could be in it, right? So a water conditioner like Seachem Prime is going to dechlorinate your water, make the water safe. The difference with Prime over other dechlorinators is that Prime is going to be able to detoxify ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. By detoxifying that, that makes the water safe for whatever fish is in the tank at the time. Now, keep in mind, guys, that I said detoxify. This does not remove the ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. It detoxifies it. What that means is it makes it into a less toxic form so that the water is safe for your fish, but at the same time, it's not going to remove it from the tank because your bacteria that need to grow in your tank need to eat that ammonia. Prime is going to detoxify it, but still make it accessible to the bacteria to eat, feed off of it, and grow, which is what we want. So keep in mind, so far, the track that I'm going on is that we need the ammonia in the tank, right? So keep that in mind, guys. Now, after you're dosing with Prime to detoxify the water and make it safe for the fish, the next thing you're going to use is stability. Stability is bacteria in a bottle, basically. In the most basic form, that's what it is. This is going to boost the bacteria growth and production in your tank so that the cycle goes faster and you don't have to continue dosing both of these for weeks and weeks and weeks. With adding stability, your bacteria is going to grow faster and your tank is going to get cycled faster. Now, with that being said, guys, the reason why you want to use both of these, I know traditionally you may have heard many times that you don't want to add a bunch of fish at the same time. Why don't you want to add a bunch of fish at the same time? It's pretty obvious. You're going to get an ammonia spike. It is going to happen. But because we have products now, like Prime, that can detoxify that ammonia or the nitrite when it turns into that, you really don't have anything to worry about. Prime is safe to be dosed up to five times the recommended amount that's on the bottle. 
So when you're doing these dosages and you're trying to cycle your tank, you want to dose both of these daily, once a day, every single day. Now, with that being said, Prime does last about 48 hours. So, you know, about two days. But you're, if you're new to the hobby, you're just setting up your tank, I don't want to tell you to dose this one every other day and dose this one every day. Let's keep it simple here, guys, because we know we can make a mistake. Hey, did I dose Prime today or did I, did I dose it yesterday or the day before? I don't remember. You know what? Let's make it very clear. Dose both of these daily. Remember, Prime is safe up to five times the amount of the dosage, so you're not going to overdose it. It's going to be totally fine. By adding a bunch of brand new fish, you are going to add that ammonia in your tank. Now, normally, what you, what you guys would normally think, and it's totally understandable, when you learn about ammonia, when you finally learn how to test your water and you learn how deadly ammonia is for fish, you get scared, it's understandable, and your first reaction is to do a water change right away. Get that water out of there, right? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, you don't want to do that at all. That's the last thing you want to do in this scenario. If you do a water change, yes, you are going to remove the ammonia from your tank, but that defeats the purpose at this point. Why? Let's see, because... All right, we're going to stay with cycling a new tank, right? So if you remove the water and you remove the ammonia, you are removing the food source for the beneficial bacteria that you want to grow in your tank. It doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense to remove what they want to eat. What you do want to do is detoxify the ammonia. Make the water safe for the fish, but leave the food for the bacteria. You understand? Now, let's take another scenario that you've already got your tanks cycled and established, but all of a sudden, you, you got an ammonia spike. Something, something happened in your tank, and you caused an ammonia spike. Again, you would naturally think to yourself, I got to do a water change right now and get this water out of here. I also suggest that you don't do that for, for two reasons specifically. One, again, if you remove that water, you're going to remove the ammonia. But whatever caused that ammonia spike in your tank, it's still there. Whatever it was, maybe it's a dead fish hiding somewhere. Maybe it's, you know, built up a, a, a bunch of built up poop. In your, behind a rock or something, right? Maybe your filter is loaded with, with poop and waste and dirt and you haven't cleaned it in a while, so it's causing an ammonia spike now. Whatever the reason is for that ammonia spike, it's still going to be there after your water change. So yeah, you may, put, you may do the water change and for a couple of hours, your ammonia test looks good, but a few hours after that, you got an ammonia spike all over again because you didn't solve the problem of the ammonia spike. So the water change is no good in that matter. The second reason... The second reason why you want to do a water change is what I just talked about. The reason for the ammonia spike is because the beneficial bacteria that you currently have in your tank is not enough. It's not sufficient to handle that ammonia. So instead, what you want to do, right? You got to think of this a different way. Instead, what you want to do is grow more bacteria. You want more bacteria to handle that ammonia spike. It's kind of crippling to say, let me stay with my bacteria at this level. My ammonia is up here. So let me do a water change, get it out. But in a couple of hours, it's going to go right back up here. You still don't have enough bacteria to handle that. You're going to be in the same exact problem all over again. So instead, don't do water changes when you get an ammonia spike. I know. I told you guys we're changing the game today. Totally different game. And Seachem is the new referee. You could quote me on that. <laughs> so check it out. Don't do the water change. Dose your tank immediately with Prime. If you have a major, major ammonia spike, remember, safe up to five times, okay? That's going to make the water safe for your fish. Your fish are going to be fine. They're not going to die from ammonia poisoning or nitrite poisoning or even nitrate poisoning if you have high nitrates at that point. Then you also want to add the stability to increase your bacteria level. Remember, the bacteria can't handle that spike in ammonia, so instead, let's help the bacteria get up there to handle that kind of a spike. Yes, granted, after the spike and your ammonia levels get back to like where they should be, you will get a reduction in bacteria. Bacteria only grow to the amount that needs to grow, to the amount of ammonia that is created in your tank. You know what I mean? You can't have like double or triple the amount of bacteria just hanging out with nothing to eat. They only grow to the amount of food source in your tank. But you rather go this route when you have spikes. Boost your bacteria 
instead of crippling them by taking water out. You know what I mean? Does, does that make sense, guys? Let me know if that makes sense, guys. Hit me in the chat. Let me know if I'm totally clear or if I completely confuse you. Let me know. But guys, this is the answer. Seachem is killing it. This is the answer to many, many problems with your water parameters. Ammonia spikes, nitrite spikes, things like that. Detoxify the water and then give your bacteria a boost. Watch your parameters. Even though you are going to read high ammonia in your test, don't panic. Don't just do a quick water change because it's not going to solve the problem. Instead, do this and then try to find the cause for that ammonia spike. Try to find that dead fish. Maybe do a filter cleaning. You know, maybe stop putting so much food in the tank all in one shot. Whatever it is that caused that ammonia spike, you have to you have to figure that out. But in the meantime, while you're doing your investigation, this is your answer. Not not an, a, a, a panic mode water change. Okay, guys?